so this module or not this module but the coming few lectures um, they would be all about this dom which is document object model okay so great so now let's talk about why we need dom all right so so far we have looked at static website which we create via uh, html and css we write code in html css the site is layout and it is how it is used okay great so we basically you know plan what our content our website should have and appearance of that content okay great but here is a problem if we want a website to be interactive then we need to be able to change parts suppose this is my website there is this button if i suppose click on this button there should be something like there should be an alert or there should be some some change okay and that is what interactive website is right so um but uh, i mean we can change it via css and html but once the website is you know live on the internet we you know can't sit there and wait every day to you know see that okay the user clicked this button i need to quickly change the html and css layout to you know um make it according to the user requirement now this is the problem that dom or document object model solves okay so let's go to the mdn doc this is what introduction to dom is that it is the data representation of the object that comprise structure and content of a document on the web okay so it is basically programming interface for web documents and yeah you can read the things but i would like to go directly into this photo where you can see that we have some html code and there is a something called dom okay so what dom does it basically catalogs the web page into individual objects that we can select and manipulate okay you can see that uh, it has converted head body into different elements and inside body inside head we have another object title then in the body we have another object called i mean h1 div div and etc right great now uh, what else we need to have here that is our main question now right hmm cool so uh let's let's look at one thing uh just give me one minute yeah okay so basically you know when you load up your website um our browser makes this document html head body title h1 this it makes it okay when you load up the web page it does it on its own okay great now this is the tree structure with a whole bunch of objects that you can you know basically select and manipulate you can see that all the elements in an html has been converted into objects and their relationships code into a dom tree okay ah uh, great now this was all what dom is actually and uh, now let's do one thing let's go back to our website here i have made few changes i have removed the script or js code and here we have the hello world obviously okay and uh, what else what what else uh let's have few things let's have let's say an input okay why didn't it come okay i have no idea this is not we want uh, okay obviously input what i'm doing my bad let's have this as well okay 
if I go live on my website, this is how it looks. This should be a checkbox input. If I save it again and if I go, okay, great. Now this is something I have downloaded an extension called tree generator. If I click, you can see that it changes my HTML into, uh, what should I say? Okay, give me one minute. Yeah, great. So it basically, you know, creates a DOM tree for me, which has HTML head, meta, 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 title, link, body, h1 input, script, script. Okay. Uh, great. Now you can, you know, basically tap into DOM using developer console. You know, uh, we can just go to developer tools and let's just go to console and here you can uh, do few things. Let's see what if I write document. Ah, uh, it is showing me document. Fine. What else? What else? What else? Uh, suppose I want to tap into document. This is my document and it's first child, which is head. So what I can do, I can simply write document dot first element child. And you can see it has shown me, I mean, uh, what is documents first element child HTML? It has both head and body. What if I want to click head? I just want to go one deeper level more. This would be document dot uh, document uh, document dot first element child dot first element child. Okay. And you can see I have the head. Now, if I want to tap into body, what I can do simply document Okay, I really this annoys me. The document dot uh, first element child, which is HTML dot last last element child, and here we get our body. Okay, great. This looks great, right? Okay, now what, what, what if I want to go inside my H1? How can I do that? Simply, I can just copy this. I can paste it and I can say first element child. Okay, H1, right? Suppose I have my var, let's say heading is equal to let me just copy this whole part and let me just do this okay now if i say uh, heading i get h1 okay now if i want to tap into its uh, inside of the its code which is uh i mean this hello world if i want to change it i can simply do it by saying heading dot in a html uh, okay sorry heading dot in our html see it is showing hello world now if i want to change it i can simply write let's say good bye see it changed so it is nice right great now, similarly, suppose I want this box to be clicked on its own. How can you think we can do that? Can you think we can do that? Obviously we can. How? Let's see how we can do that. Okay. So you can have, there is another method. You can say document dot query selector so this does what i'll just tell you just give me one second 
suppose it's input see it is showing me what it is selecting this part right and simply i want to click it great now this does what if i write document dot query selector it goes inside my document and checks for the query of input which is this right and it's and this basically clicks it great now this is basically what it is okay hmm similarly we can do one more thing let's say heading dot style we can change the style as well let's say color let's say how about red hmm nice right so this is how you know basically we tap into dom and this is done so basically every object of dom let me just okay okay works dom has what objects okay every object has two things properties and methods so properties are basically what these basically you know um, gives characteristics of an object like background color or the text of the object and this is you know it tells what our object can do it can be on click you know it can set any attribute it can add any element etc okay so i know dom is a bit confusing but just you know carry on with this playlist try to watch this video again like you can watch it at 1.5x or 2x but please watch it again and see if you can get it what i'm talking about like how you can see things okay great so i guess that was all for this video at least for the introdu introduction to dom and in the upcoming videos we learn how you know you can write this codes in our javascript uh, file and you know execute this in our website and make it more interactive so i guess that was all and thank you for watching this video and see you later